explained, cloud computing is the process of accessing and storing data over the internet as opposed to your own hard drive. In order to give its customers access to quicker, more creative and more adaptable resources, it offers services including storage, database, networking and more. Customers can reduce their operational cost and run their business infrastructure more effectively by only paying for the resources they really utilize. Now, Google Cloud has been the talk of the town among various cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft, VMware, IBM, etc. in the recent years and there are plenty of reasons why. Google Cloud stands out among the other cloud service providers due to its cutting-edge technologies and offerings. Google Cloud was named as a leader in the IAS Magic Quadrant by Gartner in 2021. According to the most recent projection from Gartner, Global end-user spending on public cloud services will increase by 20.7% in 2023. This is greater than the 2022 growth prediction of 18.8%. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipath. In this video, I will be talking about GCP career opportunities. Firstly, we'll see what is GCP. After which, we'll take a look at the skill set required to make a career in GCP. After which, we have how to make a career in GCP and then all the different career opportunities and lastly the benefits of making a career in GCP. Now before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let's get started with the first agenda that is what is GCP. Like its rivals Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services that is AWS, GCP is a provider of public cloud. Customers can utilize computer resources located in Google's data centers across the world for free or on a pay-per-use basis through GCP and other cloud providers. GCP provides a full range of computing services including tools for managing GCP costs, managing data, delivering web content and online video, and using AI and machine learning. Let's take a look at the next agenda, which is the skill set required to make a career in GCP. Firstly, we have database. Learn a database platform and query language to improve your database skills. Learning programming languages like Hadoop and MySQL can be quite beneficial. Next up, we'll talk about programming skills. Expertise in languages like PHP, Java, and .NET is required. Ruby and Python, two conventional programming languages, are also in demand. After this, we have Linux. Linux is an open source operating system that enables technology development without the trouble of obtaining permits. Many popular apps and websites run on Linux. There is a growing demand for cloud engineers that can architect, manage, and support Linux-based servers. Next, we'll talk about networking knowledge. It is crucial to integrate your network with cloud services. Fundamentals of cloud networking are a requirement for cloud computing. It is vital to have knowledge about virtual networks and to concentrate on simplifying the procedure for end users. Next, we have providers of cloud services. Understanding the offerings of cloud service providers is crucial for success in the cloud industry. Learn about cloud computing platforms including AWS, Microsoft Azure, OpenStack, and of course, GCP. Up next, we'll talk about web services and APIs. APIs and web services form the basis of the work done by cloud architects to tag, transport, and describe data. Open web services such as XML, SOAP, UDDI, and WSDI are utilized. The integration is finished and deployed on the corresponding platforms through APIs. Lastly, we have information security. Businesses are putting a greater emphasis on safeguarding apps and data. In cloud computing, keeping track of the situation security posture and taking preventative action are crucial. You'll get an advantage by learning cybersecurity and obtaining a credential. Let's move on to our next agenda, which is how to make a career in GCP. It can be tempting to choose AWS if you're trying to launch a career in cloud computing because it's the company that comes the closest to being well-known in the industry. However, concentrating on several cloud providers can do wonders for your career. The Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect Certification is one example. It was the highest paying IT certification available in 2019 and 2020. While it's important to remember that money isn't everything and shouldn't be your only driving force when choosing to work at Google Cloud, with an average pay of about $175,000, it's difficult to ignore. 
let's get into it. Firstly, we have creating a cloud portfolio. Utilizing the projects you completed during your course, create a portfolio. Make sure your work is constant from one project to the next because employers like this quality. If you use a project from a prior employment or internship, without any confidential information before displaying it and your work. The journey is just as significant as the destination. Your qualification demonstrates your knowledge. Therefore, your online portfolio demonstrates your ability to use it. Acquiring credible references. Make a list of people who can attest to your expertise, character, work ethic, and motivation such as your mentors and co-workers. Strong portfolios, cloud certifications, and references can outperform individuals with greater experience. On number third, we have network. Find people in your preferred industry proactively and ask for assistance or a meeting if you don't already have a large network or many contacts in the field of cloud computing. Focus on developing those connections while highlighting your shared interest in cloud computing. They will assist you to find a job if you can show them how valuable you are to them. Having a curious mind to explore the cloud technology. Since cloud technology is constantly evolving, so must a person's skill set. Since curiosity implies that you will take the initiative to develop your talents, it can be a more valuable quality than experience for cloud engineers. Being certified in cloud computing already demonstrates initiative and interest. Allow your curiosity to guide you toward practical experience using cloud services and applications. There are many chances to accomplish this for nothing or very little money. You will be able to talk about the components of cloud apps and services more effectively the more practical experience you have, even if it is simply experimenting. Showing determination. If you are turned down a few times or don't get the job interviews you want, do not give up. Keep working toward your objective and let the rejections motivate you. Keep up with the most recent cloud trends as they are always changing and keep your skills fresh with cloud labs and exercise while you wait for the ideal change. You will be more likely to obtain your dream job the more you immerse yourself in the cloud community and practice using cloud technology. Getting certified demonstrates that you are knowledgeable about cloud computing. Even though it is not work experience, your practical experience demonstrates that you can use it. The finest cloud engineering jobs are usually competitive. And getting one will be a challenge for sure. You can gain a competitive edge by earning certifications and you can improve your career by taking the necessary actions to make sure that you put your knowledge into practice. A certification won't assure you of getting your ideal work, but it will bring you far closer than you are today. Now let's take a look at the different career opportunities. Firstly, we have Google Cloud DevOps Engineers. And the average yearly salary is around $111,000 US dollars. Unable to pick up between an operations environment and a development environment? Why not combine the two? Building and maintaining cloud environments as well as creating and advancing continuous automation of cloud operations are the duties of a DevOps engineer. Although it differs from organization to organization, a DevOps engineer will be responsible for a combination of the following. Release engineering, provisioning and management of infrastructure, security, and lastly, DevOps Advancement. After this, we'll take a look at Google Cloud Architect, and the average yearly salary is around 144,000 US dollars. The majority of those initially entering the cloud are most familiar with this role. A Google Cloud Architect is in charge of architecting, creating, and building reliable, scalable cloud systems, as the title of the position suggests. However, you can also be considering things like technical breakthrough, design and execution of applications, planning for cloud adoption, monitoring and management of systems, and lastly, establishing cloud utilization best practices for the enterprise. Third on the list, we have Google Cloud Developer, and the yearly salary is around 103,000 US dollars. A Google Cloud Developer develops and creates cloud applications that are safe, scalable, and highly available. The cloud developer will utilize the same programs and tools as a regular IT developer to create these applications, but they will make advantage of cloud resources. Your role likely involves working with cloud-native applications, which could include evaluating needs, creating systems and solutions, debugging and coding, and lastly, utilizing managed services and cutting-edge databases. Number four on the list, we have Google Cloud Network Engineer, and the average yearly salary is around... 100,000 US dollars. 
Network engineering is all about putting network topologies into place and managing them. As they create the cloud infrastructure, you might find yourself collaborating with cloud architects, but your attention will be on making use of network services, VPC implementation, understanding connectivity between hybrid and multiple clouds, and lastly, protecting both new and existing network architectures. After this, we'll talk about Google Cloud Security Engineer, and the average yearly salary is $121,000 US dollars. Security will always be required regardless of the business, the product, or the industry. Additionally, it involves more than merely telling team members not to use the password 123. Designing and implementing secure workloads and infrastructures in accordance with industry standards and security best practices will be a responsibility as a security engineer. A security engineer could be defining organizational guidelines and structure, putting best practices for identity and access management into practice, setting up network security measures, and keeping track of data and controlling incident reactions. Lastly on the list, we have Google Cloud Data Engineer and the average yearly salary is $118,000 US dollars. The Google Cloud Engineer gathers, transforms, and publishes data to enable data-written decision-making. Let's take a look at our next agenda, which is benefits of making a career in GCP. Firstly, the enticing pay rate. Employees place a high value on cloud computing expertise as the sector expands. Due to the significant skills gap created by the strong demand, Careers in cloud computing also come with remarkably high wages. Several ways to advance. There are many different job options available in cloud computing. You have a lot of possibilities if you're ambitious and want to advance. There are numerous roles available such as cloud developer, engineer, or security specialist. Additionally, the industry is not top-heavy because it is young and expanding. If being a leader is your goal, you may eventually do so. Next on the list, we have the expanding sector. Want to make sure you have the most recent abilities and remain relevant? Developing new skills in cloud computing is a wise move. Companies are investing more and more in cloud computing each year, and the industry is expanding quickly. And lastly, a stable job. The cloud will remain. The preferred method for delivering software solutions is now the cloud. Both large and small businesses rely on cloud services to obtain the software they require to run. Those with the necessary ability to succeed in cloud computing will continue to be in great demand. Long-term stability is likely if you work in this important developing field of IT. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.